Are you a single woman over the age of 50? Then this podcast is for you. This is Buffy from Buffy's Flavorful Journey. That's a YouTube channel tailored for vibrant single women over 50 who relish life's simple pleasures. At my channel, age is really just a number, and every moment is a chance to celebrate. From the delightful aromas of my kitchen as I whip up family recipes, to the tranquil oasis of my garden, I invite you to join me on this journey of embracing singleness, aging gracefully, and cherishing a drama-free life as a woman over 50. Here, we'll share laughter, culinary secrets, gardening tips, and tales of independence. Whether you're here to learn a new recipe, find inspiration in the garden, or just share the joy of being a strong single woman, you're in the right place. Let's toast to flavorful experiences and the beauty of life's journey. So this is my first podcast, and today's topic will be brief. It's on celebrating our singleness, ladies. Being single at this stage of life is a blessing, not a burden. Take this time to focus on yourself. Embrace the freedom and independence that being single brings. You can pamper yourself. You can engage in self-care activities that make you feel empowered and rejuvenated. For example, I started my YouTube channel in 2023 and I started gardening in 2022. Both activities were for me and to share with others who were interested in the same or similar activities. During the COVID-19 pandemic, when the world shut down, I started baking and cooking, two things I hardly ever did before then. I mean, I was a fast food or casual dining fiend before I had no choice but to change that habit. And change I did. I also started walking every day, and I got up to walking five miles every morning. And as a type 2 diabetic, I began taking Trulicity in February 2019, and I still take it. By December 2019, I had lost over 35 pounds, and I've lost more since then, and I've maintained it. But you know what the best thing about 2019 was? That was the year I turned 50, and the first time in my entire life that I ever started loving myself. That's the feeling that I've held on to, and I never want to let it go. Because it's a phenomenal feeling, family. Phenomenal. And I hope all of you out there have that feeling now or that you will get it someday. As a single woman in your 50s, we can also forge new connections. Join clubs or organizations where you can meet like-minded individuals who share your interest. We can make a difference, fam. Get involved in volunteer work or community projects. Give back to causes that are close to your heart. Basically, I'm urging you to discover your passions, whether it's painting, writing, or trying new hobbies. Indulge in activities that ignite your inner fire. Do those things that you could not do before because of family or work obligations. This is also a good time to travel and explore the world. It's the perfect time to embark on new adventures and experience different cultures. But be mindful of the surge in respiratory illnesses, family. You know, the flu, pneumonia, RSV, and COVID-19. So protect yourselves accordingly. Also, why not start a social media presence if you haven't already done so? There's YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, etc. For me, I'm enjoying this myself, along with the baking and gardening that I do. Remember, life is meant to be celebrated. So surround yourself with positive and uplifting people who support your happiness. And discard those that weigh you down. Or doubt you in any way, or belittle you, or simply just bring you down. Life is too short. And now is the time you need to focus on you and on your happiness. I am not saying that being single is always rosy or a barrel of laughs. It isn't. 
but it's also not something that we should feel ashamed of either. So ladies, cheers to living your best single life after 50. Let's embrace this unique chapter and thrive in our independence. I hope you feel inspired and empowered to embrace your singleness. And don't forget to subscribe to the Buffy's Flavorful Journey channel for more uplifting and empowering content via videos and podcast. I love you, fam, and all the best to you and yours. I'll talk to you soon in the next podcast and or I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.